Bulgars and Slavs. Bulgaria and Kiev had a significant influence on Eastern Europe. Their adoption of the Orthodox Christianity affected both their peoples and the Orthodox Church. The Bulgars were the descendants of the Huns, who settled beside the Volga River in Russia and reached the height of their power around 650. When the Khazars, from the lower down in the Volga, destroyed their kingdom as a result, the many Bulgars migrated to the Danube area, dominating the local Slavs and founding a Bulgar state. Byzantium took action against them, especially when the Bulgars killed their emperor and battled in 811. In the 860s, two missionaries, Cyril and Methodius, uh, were sent to convert the Bulgars and draw them into Byzantium's influence. This helped, but the quarrels did not end until the Bulgars were defeated in 1014. To punish them, Basil II had 14,000 Bulgars blinded, and the Bulgar Khan died of shock. Orthodox Diplomacy In Byzantium, the state and church were closely linked. Religious and diplomatic missions were sent out, and, uh, and in this way, Byzantium converted the Bulgars to Christianity. Catholic Rome and Orthodox Constantinople competed for influence in Eastern Europe. Kiev adopted the Orthodox beliefs, and a Russian Orthodox culture was born there. Cyrillic lettering, still used today by Russians and Bulgarians, was invented by Cyril the missionary and his brother Methodius. By the time Byzantium fell in 1453, Russia had become the home of Orthodoxy. Uh, the rise and fall of Kiev. The Slavs came from what is now Belarus. The first states in Russia were Slavic and led by Swedish Viking traders Rus or Orsman. Orsman. Uh, the greatest Rus leader was Yurik, who founded Nov, uh, Novgorod, Smolensk, and Kiev. The Vikings traded with Baghdad and Constantinople, and Kiev grew rich as a trading city. The Vikings considered themselves a superior class, mixing only gradually with the Slavs. In 988, the Kievan people, Vladimir, converted to Christianity, marrying a Byzantine emperor, or a Byzantine princess. He then made uh, the nobility and people adopt Christianity. This uh, brought Kiev new trade, culture, and respectability abroad. Under Jaroslav the Wise, Kiev was under splendor and influence that rivaled Constantinople with diplomatic connections across Europe. Churches were built, and the first Russian laws were written, as well as the first works of Russian art and literature. Kiev was on the steppes, the plains of the Ukraine, and vulnerable to nomadic warriors such as the Peshegi, uh, who threatened, and the Polovsti, who sacked the city. After Jaroslav died, the state of Kiev broke up, and the Russians retreated into safer northern areas. Here, a new Russia was being established, centered around the growing city of Moscow.